Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your iPhone or make it faster by increasing its RAM or whatever. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. Some people use um, OpenSSH. Hopefully you guys know what that is. You win, uh, win a CP from Windows and Cyberduck from Mac. But today I'm just going to show you how to do it through Cydia. It's really simple. It works. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Cydia. And after it's done loading, we're going to add a source. So hopefully this shouldn't take long. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open Manage. We're going to hit Sources. Now we're going to add a source. So the source we're going to add is repo dot be your shoot I spelled it wrong don't worry I'll have this in the description of the video but as you guys can see it's also on the screen but if just in case I'll have it in the description too okay so this is where you're going to want to add once you add that, I'm not going to add it, I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it. It's going to load for you, and then it's going to show you this screen. So what you're going to want to go ahead and click on is you're going to click on Be Your iPhone, the very first one that you see on my screen, which has entered by user. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, now a huge list pops up. Don't worry about it, guys. All you got to do is go all the way down to I right there okay now what we're gonna wanna download or install is scroll down right there iPhone VM OS 3.x now as you guys can see there's two of them there is iPhone VM bracket OS 3.x bracket and there's also iPhone VM 2 bracket OS 3.x bracket don't worry just install whatever one they're both the same they both do the same thing, same purpose, whatever. So what I did was I installed the first one because, I don't know, I just did it. So just go ahead and install whichever one you want. Click on it. Top right corner. It's going to say install for you. I already have it, so it says modify. So once you hit install, it's going to take you another page. Top right hand corner. Confirm. Once it's downloaded, all you have to do is just hit the home screen or the home button. You can go to your home screen. Now, I don't remember if I rebooted my iPhone or iPod. I actually did it on both my devices. So I actually have three devices. I have a 3GS, 3G, and an iPod Touch. So but I don't remember if I did it, if I re uh, rebooted or restarted or resprung, whatever you guys may want to call it. But just in case if you guys don't feel a difference, give it a shot. And it should be faster. Now, I don't think it's a whole lot faster, but it does have a little bit of a difference, which is worth it. So, but as you guys can see, it's leggy on the screen, which you guys see, because I'm actually using a program called Vinci, which is how you can control your iPhone or iPod through your computer. If you, if you guys want to know how you can get that, go ahead, visit my channel, and I have a video on how you guys can get that. So, this is basically it. This is just a little short tutorial video on how you can increase the RAM or speed. Please subscribe to my videos, rate five stars, favorite, comment, whatever. Follow me on Twitter. I also have a giveaway video coming up soon, so just make sure you guys stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.